Hey guys, today we are talking wedding perfumes and it is a collab with some other fabulous content creators. We have Lulu, we have Jerry, we have Pat, and we have Mario Dones. So be sure to check out their channels to see what their suggestions are. Today, I'm gonna give you some fragrances for different types of brides. So let's get started. First bride is an island wedding. Um, she wants to have her toes in the sand. She wants to be by the water and all of that salt water breeze just lifting her veil and being the beautiful island bride that she's always imagined. So for that particular bride, I would say she's going with Zerjoff's Cruise del Sword 2. Now, because it's your special day, you want that bottle, or it doesn't even have to be a special day, but Kia, <laughs> on Kia's budget, chose <laughs> Dua's Desire to. So this is just a tropical mango dream. It is like a mango lassie, if you've ever had one, um, where it's like a milkshake, but it's not as strongly sweet as a milkshake. So it's still lactonic, it's still fruity, there's guava in this, there's pineapple, and it is just a dream. Now, if this bride is a little bit more formal, but still trying to take advantage of the island vibes, I would say go with Guerlain's Terracotta. So this is a beautiful white creamy floral with some beautiful alive fresh jasmine. There's some coconut in this. It is just elegant, but it's still elegant. Island wedding. Guerlain's terracotta. The next bride is one that's having a garden wedding. And for that bride, I would totally pick Parfums de Marly Casilli. Parfums de Marly Casilli it's just a gorgeous, fruity, floral. You're outside amongst grass, greenery, other flowers, but this one definitely cuts through. It's a beautiful scent, elegant scent, with notes of rose and plum, tonka bean, vanilla, and sandalwood. That fruity floral is has a nice structure and base from those warm notes. So when you're amongst the greenery this is still warm and sensual enough to cut through those and this is just such a pretty scent it's it's a beautiful gorgeous scent for a garden wedding the next type of wedding is a princess wedding so this bride will have all of the bells and whistles uh, beautiful gowns with tulle and crystals and crowns so this type of bride i'm thinking she wants to be classic but pretty and so i wanted to pick coco mademoiselle but i figured give her a little twist to that coco mademoiselle scent and here is sophia by sophia vergara okay so would princesses wear budget friendly fragrances why not like on your special day you don't know if you have on twenty dollar gel polish or the latest hundred dollar set with powder gel dip for your nails once everything ties all together with your crown with the big dress with the elegant flowers and all the bells and whistles no one would ever know that you're wearing this budget friendly Fragrance. So this gives you a little bit of that Mademoiselle feel with the patchouli and fruits in this. So this is Sophia by Sophia Vergara. An alternate to that I would pick is my Burberry Blush by Burberry. This is a flanker of my Burberry, but this one is pink and girly and powdery. Another twist to the rose that Burberry and MFK made together. And it's so gorgeous. It's a rose that is light, bright, elegant, pretty, sweet, and just perfect for the princess. Next wedding, we are having a winter wedding. So it's cold, there's beautiful snow, there are darker colors being used in this wedding. 
or some people have winter wonderland and want to use brighter colors however the scent that i pick for this cooler wedding more clothes more covering the first one is tom ford's orchid soleil now hear me out for those of you who know this fragrance this fragrance is in the line of tom ford's orchid line so you have black orchid you have velvet orchid and you have orchid so like this is supposed to be the lighter one um that's not as deep and as heavy as the others however it's still quite a substantial fragrance this has champaka pink pepper tuberose chestnut cream vanilla patchouli and orchid so that chestnut cream just really and champaka brings this floral fragrance it makes it a little warm and cozy it's not as heavy as black orchid but it is still a deeper fragrance that's perfect for a winter wedding and if you want an alternative to that velvet orchid is another one there's rum there's plum there's orchid it's deep but not it doesn't go as heavy as black orchid and so those fragrances to me would be perfect for a winter wedding or your traditional wedding where the bride is wearing white and everything is just what you imagine a wedding to be now it's not as pompous as the princess wedding but it is still your very traditional wedding um with everything as you would imagine the fragrance I chose for that traditional wedding is Chloe Love Story. Chloe Love Story, when I first smelled this, really made me feel like this was made for a perfect love story. It's so gentle. It's so pretty. It's feminine and girly. It's actually a fruity floral rose musk perfume. And there's some peach in this and there's cashmere wood. So it just gives it a bit more depth to the rose that is just so elegant and pretty. This is just your classic, gorgeous fragrance. It's very much in line with my Burberry blush where it's just pretty, a, a twist on a rose. It's just gorgeous and perfect for a traditional wedding. We are moving into our modern wedding. So our modern wedding, I envision a bride who may not have on the traditional dress. She may have some see-through, some lace. Um, she's doing things a little bit different, but she's still a bride's bride. So for this bride, our most common, the most popular, I think rose is definitely a gorgeous, modern and traditional scent for a wedding. And so what is more modern than Delina Exclusive? So I did not pick Delina as I don't have it, but Delina Exclusive powdery rose it's a fruity floral because it does have that lychee, peach, and apricot in the opening. But then that depth comes from the oud and vanilla, amber, and woodsy notes. This fragrance is everything of a modern woman, bride, elegance. This is Delena Exclusive. The next wedding is a hipster wedding or a unique wedding. And so for this particular wedding and the bride, I choke. And when I think of hipster and unique, I'm thinking she may wear her bold frames on her wedding day. She may have locks that are in a curly updo or um, a funky haircut, maybe a shorter haircut that's close cropped. Um, this bride may wear her sneakers <laughs> or her bedazzled sneakers for her wedding day. She may do things a little different and wear a rose pink dress. She's different. She's unique. And the fragrance that I see for a bride in this type of wedding is either Byron Parfums, The Chronic. Now, this per this perfume is not what you would consider formal. It is not your um, pretty scent. 
this is a very unique scent. It is bold, it is a little loud, but you're sweet and you are fun. So this is what I imagine a unique or hipster bride to wear. This is your sandalwood fragrance that has some cinnamon in it and amber that sweetens it up. And then some leather deepens that, that sandalwood and just makes it so delicious and fun. Um, this is for a hipster wedding. But I do have one more that I do think a unique bride may wear. Even though she's unique, it doesn't mean she's just totally off the grid. Um, she still wants to be pretty, but she just doesn't want to be cookie cutter. And so for another option for our hipster unique wedding and bride would be Navitus Parfums Idola. So, or Idola rather. Idola is a gorgeous scent. Um, it's not as deep as the chronic, but it does have that fruity floral scent that's very in the same vein of Casilli from Parfums de Marley as well as Delina Exclusive. It's deep, there's peach, there's rose and floral notes. It is an amazing fragrance. Um, that fruit, burst of fruit in the top keeps you lively and vivacious and ready to dance the night away. And it's also very gorgeous for that bride on her special day, marrying her best friend. This is Navitus Parfums Idola. Thanks guys for joining us in another video, another awesome collab video. So again, be sure to check out their channels and do um, tell me, I wanna know, if you're married or if you plan to get married what kind of wedding are you having or envision yourself having or did you have and what did you wear what do you plan on wearing thanks again and see you next video bye